You are here. Continue to turn, lead with elbow. It has to be here. The high pad on horse. Watch me. I'll do uh, do more. Okay. Over here, here. Lead with elbow. Turn, turn, turn. Continue until you are exhausted. You cannot turn anymore. This is you break your opponent's arm here. You understand? Grab his wrist and break him here. As you break him here, he loosens or he steps in. He tries to get out that way. As he does that, you step back, and you see you continue, and turn. So this is a very large move from here, go track him all the way to here. With every move, now start to imagine that your move, your move is, your movement is successful, but you didn't succeed because your opponent is fighting back. Say that you got your opponent here, and you block him, you hit him, but nothing happens. He's very strong, he's fighting back. So what you need now is to add this here. Hold this in position. Hold this in position. You are hitting him. Nothing is happening. You add this line here. Can you see? You add the middle. So same idea everywhere is you are here. To, uh, I explained this several times, but you, I, I don't think you were here last time I explained it. Somebody is holding it like this. But when you hold the middle, you do this here. Can you see? It's very easy. Even when you do this, it's very easy. But if somebody's holding it, it's not that easy anymore. Then you really have to put the power to crank it, to really. <sighs> so now put that idea into your yi loop. Imagine every move you make. You're here. You grab your opponent. This one is uh, wild horse parts is main. You put, grab him, pull him. You put this in his armpit. And uh, hopefully, with your fingers, you poke him, he will back off. But if not, you change that into a fist, you hit him. He still fights back. You must use here to. <sighs> so every move, you add this action. So I'll show you again, and related to your movement. So you got your opponent, did not work. You use here to go. <clears throat> So add a very strong torso to it. So every move here, add the torso here. And you got him, then add the torso. At the beginning, this should be, uh, later on, this should be a good rotation. At the beginning, just whatever it is, just add the torso fighting into the two ends. Uh, you got that, Michael? Yes, thank you. Yeah, add any intention to your chore choreography. The idea is, so these are the two ends being held, and when you add power from here, the power has to go in here, and this way it goes this way, this way goes this way. So it depends on uh, whichever way you're moving your elbow. If you move your elbow this way, it would mean, let's say, here, behind, then this one in front. Or if this is this way, then this is this way. So when you do this here, the power has to split from the middle, going into the two ends. The, and this training has to be done with a, st with a stick. Because you do a lot of that with a stick, you will realize how it works on your body. Because on our body, we always have a false understanding because you try to believe your body is doing it right, that when, let's say, you're here. We always falsely be believe it's like this. It's not like this. It's this power with everything is so hard locked. That power, can you see, goes to my fingertip. Like this. If you move, can you see it just uh, is wobbling around here. It's actually, this turn forces to go here. And at the same time, from here goes that way. So you add a lot of that. And not only that, uh, in all the push hands exercises, we were trying to do that. Same as somebody standing there, I go like this, somebody standing in here. So I want this here to go here, and this to go here, and try to cause here. But once you get caught, your opponent fights back. You want to activate from here, that way, and this way. It's a stew from there. They are all like that.